partial fractions happen to be one of the very integral topics of integration. Well, what if we had a shortcut to solve the same? Let's get started with the video. So first look at the traditional method how we go about the entire question. This mostly takes about 3 to 4 minutes on an average. And once you've gone through this, I'll reveal the shortcut method to you. Please note this method could be applied only if your denominator could be factorized into linear factors. Let's look at this question. What we do for this one is, we mentally put this as 0. So, that means x is equal to 1 is one of the factors. Now, barring this one, we are going to substitute x as 1 everywhere else. So, this would give us, if you could do it mentally, that's good enough. Log of the factor which you have just avoided. Plus, the next time, put this factor equal to 0. That gives you x is equal to minus 2. Now, avoid this one and substitute x as minus 2 everywhere else. So, you get 2 into minus 2 minus 1 upon minus 2 minus 1 into minus 2 minus 3. And log of the factor which we had avoided. Similarly, for the third one, now once again, you put x minus 3 equal to 0, that gives you the factor x equal to 3. Barring this, put x equal to 3 everywhere else. And log of the factor which we had just cancelled plus c. Now all you need to do is simplify. So this gives us 1, 3 into minus 2, that's minus 6 log mod x minus 1 plus this would be minus 4 minus 1 that's minus 5 which can get cancelled with this one and you're left with minus 1 by 3 log mod x plus 2 and this one again 6 minus 1 is 5 which gets cancelled plus half log mod x minus 3 plus c. This is the desired answer. Now have a look at this one. Of course it has to be a proper rational function. So here the degree is 2, here the degree is 3. Now having done that, let's try to see if we can factorize our denominator. So first we can take your x common. So we will be left with 3x squared plus 4x minus 4. Now let's factorize this further. We can work on the factors. They would turn out to be x plus 2 and 3x minus 2. Having done this, now instead of the traditional method, once again, if you put this as 0, barring this, put 0 everywhere else. So this would be 0 plus 4 upon 2 into minus 2 log mod x plus, now next time, put this factor as 0, that gives us x equal to minus 2, substituting log mod x plus 2 and lastly putting this equal to 0 this gives us x equal to 2 by 3 so plus 2 by 3 whole square plus 4 upon 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 plus 2 log mod 3x minus 2 plus c so on simplifying we get minus log mod x this shall give us 4 plus 4, that's 8, upon minus 2 into minus 6 minus 2, which is minus 8. So this part gets cancelled and you're left with plus half log mod x plus 2. And lastly, and on solving this, we have 4 by 9 plus 4 upon 4 by 3 into 8 by 3. Once you take the LCM, you get 40 by 9 and here we have 9 by 16 which would be just 5 by 2. So plus 5 by 2 log mod 3x minus 2 plus c. And that's the required answer. I hope you all enjoyed learning about this shortcut method. If yes, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. Needless to say, please subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free. 
See you with the next video. Until then, bye-bye.